Hello, good day kids. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add or subtract fractions in these three different situations. Number one, when you have the same denominators. Number two, when you have the same numerators. And lastly, when everything is entirely different. So let's get started with addition. You can see that in this situation, we have both denominators the same, something like this. So whenever the denominators are the same, always pick a single denominator. Well, let me start with addition. So this will be the denominator, a single denominator here is 4, right? Then you add the numerators. This is 5 plus uh, 1. 5 plus 1 is 6 divided by 4. If it is irreducible, reduce it. You can see that 2 can go into 6 exactly 3 times. 2 can go into 4 exactly 2 times. Therefore, 5 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 4 is equal to 3 divided by 2. Then for this one, the same thing, you take a single denominator, which is 4, then you subtract the numerators, 5 minus 3. And 5 minus 3 is 2, right? Divide by 4. This can also be reduced because 2 can go into 2 one time. And 2 can go into 4 exactly 2 times. So this is how to add or subtract the new, uh, fractions that have the same denominators. So let's see a situation where the numerators are the same. So I think, can I just flip them? Let me do that. Well, you cannot apply the same earlier principle. But in this case, you can apply a both apply method. That is by cross multiplication. Or you can make the denominators the same, which I prefer the most. Since this is 5, this is 1, I can change this to 1 by multiplying this 1 by 5. So instead, you can multiply the top and the bottom by 5, right? So this one remains the same, 4 over 5 plus 5 times 4 is what? Um, 20 divided by uh, 5 times 1 is 5. So you see that. The denominators are now the same. So you can add the numerators and pick a single denominator. So this is 4 plus 20. Uh, this is 24 divided by 5. As simple as that. This is not reducible except if you want to convert it to a mixed number. You count the number of times. 5 can go into 24, which I believe is 4 times, which remainder of 4 out of 5. This is a mixed number. They mean the same thing. Then coming here, you can apply the same principle. How can we change this to be the same? The LCM of 5 and 3 is 15. So you can either perform a cross multiplication, as I told you earlier, or you do the same I did here. So let me change method. This will be equal to the product of these two just multiply them together uh, 5 times 3 this is 15 then you take 3 multiplied by 4 that is um 12 they subtract 5 multiplied by 4 uh this is 20 right uh, this is a negative number because 12 is smaller than 20 so 12 minus 20 will give us uh, i think negative 8 divided by 15 so you can see that. Then lastly, it's a situation whereby everything is entirely different. For example, 2 over 3 plus 4 over 5. Everything entirely different. So you can make the denominators the same by applying equivalent fraction. But this time around, I'm going to show you how to do both apply method. This time, this will give us 10. Then mark plus, this time this is 12, divided by this time this, which is uh, 15. This is equal to 22 to the top, to the bottom we have 15. This is both apply method of addition. But if we have subtraction, uh, it will be 2 over 30 minus 4 over 5. We can apply the same principle. This time this is 10. This is minus. This time this is 12, divided by this time this, which is 15. And uh, 10 minus 12, this time around is also negative, negative 2 over 15. So this is how to add or subtract fractions in different situations.